Hi there, this is Curious Carly and Steven, and we're at the Van Build Party 2018 with Jamie Diamond, and we're gonna check out his covered wagon. So, what got you into this lifestyle? <clears throat> um, I guess the initial thing was I was tired of spending $1,700 a month paying my mortgage. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted, you know, more independence. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. So um, you said about two years ago you came up with this plan? That's right. So about two years ago, I was at a Renaissance Fair, and um, I saw a couple selling incense and candles out of this, and I was interested. And I asked him for his information, and uh, he put me in contact with his dad, who helped him build his, or okay. whatever. And so um, I went up on the weekends for like the first three months and helped, you know, put the shell together uh -huh. and then I took it home and I built the inside over the next coming year yeah, while you were living in it, while too. I was living in it that's mm -hmm. awesome so um, is there any like what did you use what materials did you use? so this is a plastic coated canvas it's a sail material like they use for sails on ships oh, okay um, underneath that is a layer of reflectix insulation mm -hmm. and then an inside layer of like a muslin fabric like oh. and this is all pressure treated um, you know plywood and yeah. you just uh, got the trailer. It's yep, it's a five by eight utility trailer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, built it right on top of there. It's, it's actually two boxes and you we join them together and screw them down. <laughs> awesome. Uh -huh. So, um, I don't know what's at the front. Let's sure. Let's look at the other windows in it. Sure. We've got a, oh, a Subaru Forester folding. Yep. And that's uh, one of the main reasons that I got this is because I had the car first and the towing capacity is not that high. And okay. so this fully loaded is maybe Okay. So it's light enough for that. This is great. Thanks. Can we look inside? Yeah, yeah, let's take a look okay. inside. Wow, this is great in here. Ah, it's muslin. a lot bigger than it looks, right? Yeah, it's really nice. There's lots of room in here, lots of head space. Yeah, it's about 6 1 in the center and about 6 1 across where the bed is, too. So I sleep comfortably in there. Awesome. And you've got your cooler, your Dorm fridge. Dorm fridge. Oh, good. oh, and do you have solar? Or I do have solar. Mm -hmm. up, up on top? Nope. Uh, uh, there's a little folding suitcase panel right there. I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. And you've got your sink. Yep. Your one burner stove. Yep. Coffee. Uh huh. How's the coffee powered? It's not. So I would I'll boil water in here, oh. put the coffee in the filter, and then just pour it over. Oh, mm -hmm. what a great idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, is there, do you have a toilet situation in here? So it's a little rustic, my toilet situation, but um, this bottle is number one, and then this bottle is number two. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Is it kind of composting style or? Um, yeah, like in a bag. Okay. And then Throw it away. And, and All right. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So, so over here. What is that? What's this over here? Oh. Oh, so this is um, a bench, you know, because I just needed extra seating and stuff. Um, underneath here, I have bins with, um, you know, my underwear, my socks, t-shirts, shorts, um, cooking stuff under here, junk drawer there, hanging storage underneath the bed as well, um, oh, behind nice. that black um, curtain there, and then more storage to the right side. My solar panel, my batteries and stuff are to the right there behind the fridge. Lots of storage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I like the window over the bed. Thanks. It's very cute. So let's look at your solar setup. Sure. Love this screen. Thanks. What is it? What are the bows made from? Um, it's just pine. Soft and pine. We steal them. So. Um, so the solar panel is 100 watts, and then I have two 50 amp hour batteries in there, so it's about 100 amp hours. Nice. Um, and how much does that power? Do you have your fridge? Um, I don't have, I use my fridge, yes, but right now it's off because I have nothing in there. But um, okay. yeah, my fridge, um, laptop, cell phones, uh, lights, lighting for the inside is all battery powered. Um, okay. Camera equipment, all that stuff, yep. Nice. It does everything that I need to do. My little sink is also push button. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And how much water do you usually carry with you? Eight gallons and then um, one or two um, other gallons just, you know, okay. in the back of the truck or something. Nice. But yeah, the sink has an eight gallon little container. And do you have a trade on the road since you've been out for a year? Or? So um, I'm a jack of all trades. Just now I left the Big Sur. I was a day use attendant at a beach. Okay. Um, I did that all summer, the past six months. Um, my main job is uh, computer stuff, so I'll do okay. help desk work if I get to a new city or something. I'll register with the local agencies and yeah, oh, work nice. like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome, that's mm -hmm. a great idea. 
So thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. And you have a channel. Yep. So how do we reach you if yep. we want to learn more? I'm the High Tech Hobo okay. on YouTube. High Tech Hobo. Mm -hmm. Nice. So how much did it cost to build out your wagon? So just the wagon with none of the, um, you know, my fridge or anything like that was about $2,900. Okay. And so far with um, my fridge and the solder and all that stuff, I, I'm going to say $3,200 okay. complete. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. How long did it take? Um, a year from beginning to end before I hit the road. Mm -hmm. But then I just got my solar six months ago. So okay. before that, yeah. Nice. How has your life changed since you hit the road? My only regret is that it didn't start sooner. The freedom, the, the adventure, the traveling, you can't put a price on that. Mm -hmm. That's great. And um, do you see any improvements in your future? Yes. I, yeah, like uh, the possibilities are endless. That's the main takeaway from this life. Like you meet people, you know, at these kind of gatherings and stuff, you never know what's going to happen. So. True. Yeah. You have this little dream of having covered wagons all in a row. Yeah, I would love to have like a campground full of covered wagons, yes. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. So, uh, yeah, I hope to see a few more. Yeah, hope yeah. hope you inspire more people to make some covered wagons. That'd be great. That'd okay. be great. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, and guys. we'll see you around. All right. See you. <laughs>